Hello, hello, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. In the previous episode, we rescued Fina as well as all of our uh, pirate friends from Valua. We made our great escape, and now, uh, finally, with a full party of four, uh, Fina at level one, we're gonna have to do something about that, but with a full party of four, we begin the game's main quest, which is, of course, to find the Moonstones and stop the Valuan Empire from getting their hands on weapons of mass destruction. You know, normal, uh, normal stuff, as one does. So, uh, well, let's, let's just see how everyone's doing now. While you are gone, I fixed a bunch of stuff here on the island. Huh, now I feel like I can do anything. Oh, almost anything. Your mom helped me move some boxes and stuff. Uh-huh, how about you? Pow pow. And how are you doing there, little guy? You seem happy enough to see us. <laughs> Have you been taking care of everyone while I've been gone? Pow pow pow. Good to hear it. How about you? Vice, you're home. You made it back. I missed you so much, I was worried that you wouldn't make it back. Well, I did promise I would return, didn't I? What's in here? Can I enter this house? Yes, I can. Does anyone live here? Uh, oh. Oh, it's you! This is where you live! I owe everything to you guys. If it wasn't for your bravery, none of us would have ever made it home to Pirate Isle. I just wanted to let you know that. I'm grateful. Your father raised you well, Vice. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe you so much, Vice. You actually brought my husband home safely. I can't believe it. But just between you and me, I still haven't finished that scarf I was knitting. I have to hurry up and finish it. Okay, well, enough dilly-dallying. Uh, we were supposed to go down to the port, and that's where we will be, uh, shipping off from. So, down around this way. Where's the door? Where's the door? Here it is. Okay. Oh. Huh? What's wrong, Cupel? Squeak, squeak. Really? Here? I see. Uh, Vice, Cupel tells me there's a cham around here somewhere. A cham? What's that? Chams are little shards from moonstones that fell and shattered when they hit the ground. Cupel eats them as food. Really? Wow. I didn't, I didn't know that anything could eat moonstones. Uh, where can you find them? What do they look like? Well, you can find them all over the place, but they're very small. They're hard to see. Uh, but I'm sure Cupel will let you know whenever you get close to a cham. He can't seem to sit still or be quiet whenever there's food nearby. I see. So all we have to do is search the ground whenever Cupel starts to go a little crazy, right? Well, let's see if we can find anything here. The more you feed Cupel, the stronger he'll become. He'll be able to change into different shapes and inflict more damage on enemies in battle as he grows. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, Cupel actually lives in the uh, the VMU of the controller. Oh, and there we go, a cham. So if you ever hear my VMU, the, uh, the memory card that is, if you ever hear that yelling at me, uh, that's just Cupel telling me that there's food nearby. Most of the time he's just sort of... I don't know, floating around. Sometimes he crashes into the screen. It's all good times. Uh, but there's nothing else I really need up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. And here we are. So... Yeah, here is the ship. And here's mom and dad here to see us off. Oh, what's wrong, Vice? You're looking uncharacteristically grim. Dad, uh, actually, there's something I have to tell you. Don't worry, I have a feeling I already know what you're gonna say. I remember when I was your age, the feeling that I had to get away from my own little island and see the rest of the world. But when a man decides to step out onto his own path, he doesn't need to ask for his parents' permission. 
From now on, you are my equal, son. A man who lives by the skies. There's nothing more honorable than that. Huh. You're late on ev almost every other occasion, but you sure aren't wasting any time to try to get out on your own. Oh, Dad. Go on, get out of here, Vice. Go make your mark on the world. I hear you've decided to leave. Your father's told me about it already. But I know you well enough to figure that it won't take long before you'd l yearn to travel the skies by yourself. Mom! It's okay, dear. Everyone ultimately has to fly away from their parents' nest. I knew it was just a matter of when. I knew this day would be coming sometime, it's just... It's just that it came a lot sooner than I expected, or hoped. So stand tall, son. Go chase after those dreams that you've always talked about, and make sure you take care of Ika too, okay? Very well. Onward we go. Thank you all so much for rescuing me from the Valuans. I hope I'll be able to repay all of you someday. Oh, don't worry about keeping those moon crystal- Oh, just worry about keeping those moon crystals out of the hands of the Valuans. And Vice, we're all counting on you too. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Dad. I won't let you down. Well, guess we'd better get going. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Bye, Captain. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Vice, Aika, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Fina, there's no way we can turn this down. After what you told us about the Gigas, I don't even want to think about what the Valuan Empire would do if they got their hands on them. We're the only ones that can stop them. And, well, to be completely honest, I've always wanted to sail the world, and this is my chance. Moon crystals, lost cities, strange lands, I want to see them all with my own eyes. This is my chance to find out what's really out there. Fina, you couldn't stop us from going even if you tried. This is the kind of adventure that air pirates dream of. If we pass this up, we'd regret it the rest of our lives. I understand. Thank you. Thank you all. Fina, do you have any idea where the crystals might be? Well, according to the ancient legends, there should be a moon crystal hidden in the lands under each of the moons. The closest ones from here are the yellow one of Valua and the red moon of Nazar. Well, there's no chance of getting back into Valua right now. Should probably wait a while before going back there. Yeah, that's for sure. If you go east from here, you'll reach Nazar with a normal ship. You'd probably never make it through the stone reefs on the way. But now that the little Jack is equipped with a harpoon cannon, you've got a pretty good chance of making it through. I guess we can just break the rocks, huh? Sounds like a plan. We're heading east to Nazar. And we're gonna get that red moon crystal. Hey, boy. We've been standing around here long enough. Let's get going. Ah, Drachma breaks his silence. Well, Dad, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Remember everything I've taught you. Make us proud, son. Ah, yes. The purple moon crystal is ice. The yellow one is electric. That's all you've taught me. And with a final bow, Fina leaves as well. And I guess we are on our way. Yeah, here we are. The triumphant music plays. However, here's the thing. Fina is at level one, and I don't want that to be the case. And I know of a couple chams that we can actually get right off the bat. So, uh, one of them is actually in Shrine Island. So let's just break in here once more. And yeah, we can we can see what Fina can do real quickly. This probably won't take long. Actually, I'll probably just cut most of it out because we've already seen everything there is to see here. So let's uh, open up the door and step right in. I don't remember how far away this cham is now that I think about it. It's around one of the edges, I think. I don't think it's outside. Oh, and here's our first battle. Which, uh, yeah, now that we have a full party of four, this should be laughable. What do we got? What's it gonna be? 
We got two of these things, huh? Okay. So Vice can take out... Wait, what do we want? We want... Electric? Okay, we take out one of those. Uh, you can guard. Let's see what Fina can do. Uh, it, it is not much. I should warn you. So, Aika, who I've kind of been using as a caster, she's really more of an all-rounder kind of character. Uh, Fina is the dedicated caster. Although, as you power up Cupel, Cupel does get pretty strong by the end of the game. Serves up right. Yeah, serves those weird snakes right. So, this one magic experience is gonna multiply to five? Yeah, because you get one magic experience just for having that weapon equipped, and then you get one more for every party member who also has that uh, color equipped. So it counts double for yourself. Yeah, we'll just stick with yellow for a while. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut back to when I find this cham, wherever it might be. Oh, wait, here it is. It's somewhere, somewhere. I'm right on top of it. There we are. We have received a cham! Excellent. Uh, I should actually use those things, maybe. Uh, where are they? Are they in here? Uh, no. Are they special items? Uh, no. Did I miss them? Oh, there's there's more pages. This way, okay. So we use a cham on Cupel. Nom nom nom. Yep, Cupel is eating the cham. He burps and that's it. Okay, that did not power him up. Uh... Oh. Ah, da 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 da. Okay, Cupel has powered up to level two. So, uh, let's find another random encounter and, uh... Wait, is there an easy way out of here? So that was the way in. No, I don't think there's an easy way out. Ah, but here's an encounter, so let's see what this cupel looks like. Never mind! <laughs> there was a looper and I had to make sure I got rid of it, and I accidentally, uh, killed all of the enemies with Alpha Storm. So, next battle. Next battle for sure. Now we climb up here. You know, it is a little bit cruel of them to hide a cham so far out of the way. Because who would ever think to come back here and, you know, go down there and look for it. But hey, that's the way it is. Now, there is one more cham... I think only one more that we have access to right now, and it is in, uh, Sailor's Island, actually. So I'll have to get that one too, but I believe there's also a couple discoveries? Okay, no loopers. This one is easy. Now we want to get rid of the Maraca. We want to get rid of one of these, and we want you to attack the other one. And Drachma can, like, guard or something. Oh, that thing survived. I didn't expect that. Maracas are tough stuff. Ooh, Cupel Sword! Great. Alright. Everybody just, uh, just take this thing out. Oh, it's really trying, it's really trying. Ah, but it's not good enough. Serves up right! Yeah, uh, Cupel actually has some really interesting attacks as they go on. They're kind of funny. 
Oh, well, Fina's already at level 4. That's good. Uh, Drachma is one battle away from leveling up in yellow. Hmm, although it is also very important for us to start leveling up silver. Uh, because whereas green is like healing magic for life and whatnot, silver heals status effects, uh, including being knocked out. So it's very important to have silver magic. Okay, I'll, I'll see you back in the world map. Oh, the enemies did not want me to leave that place. There were somehow in that one pathway leading from the staircase to the exit, three random encounters. It was insane. Uh, but anyway... Uh, we can now break through these rocks and sail right on through. Yeah, nothing to it. And as I was saying, I think there are discoveries around here. Maybe, maybe two? There's at least one. What's this? There's something on one of those rocks. Now, where? Oh, I see fish. Fish! I must capture them! Oh, there's a fancy one in the middle. No, and away it goes. Uh, I am not good at fishing. So, where is the thing? Where is the thing? Is it right at the end here? There's... Mm, no. Okay, now I'm serious. Where is this thing? Ah, here it is. I have found the Sky Coral. Oh, how lovely. Uh, sky Coral. Microorganisms called Sky Coral attached themselves to moonstone boulders and grew to form these reefs. They flourish only in very specific conditions and can take 200 years to grow. Their various colors and shapes have long been valued for their beauty. Huh. Oh, would you look at that place beyond the downdraft. That doesn't look very pleasant, now does it? Uh, now I, th I think there's still one more. Oh boy, that random encounter rate is, uh, yeah, hitting me in full force here. Now, where is this thing? Ah, okay, finally, here it is. You have found the Silver Moon Pit. Uh, that took quite a bit of searching and a lot of random encounters, uh, but yeah, here we go. Only small islands such as Pirate Isle and Temple Isle lie in the area where Silver Moonstones fall, so deposits this large are very hard to come across. Legends say that Silver Moonstones hold the power of life, but the truth remains unknown. Uh, well, that is, in fact, very true, uh, and I still haven't been actually leveling it up. So where, where is this thing? Darn it. I still don't know where it is. Okay, back up. Oh, there it is. On the very side of this outcropping of rock. Well, there it is. Now then. And here we are at Sailor's Island. Okay, we made it safely. Now, I know we're supposed to go to the Kingdom of Nazar, but there's a couple things we can take care of first here. Uh, oh. Uh, and we talk to this guy, I guess. It's Domingo. Hey, are you the guy that everyone's talking about? Vice, right? I heard you broke out of the Grand Fortress. Good job. I'm sure you've heard of me during your travels. I'm Domingo, treasure hunter extraordinaire. Huh? You've never heard of me, you say? Uh, now, now, you don't need to be so bashful. I know you're truly excited to meet that real Domingo. Nevertheless, I have given up on searching for lost treasures and have taken up a new quest. I now search the world for discoveries. In fact, I'm in the midst of my search for the fabled Topple Rock. Huh, who was that? He seemed to be more than a little full of himself. I don't know, but it sounds like he's looking for discoveries, too. Well, we can't let him get the best of us. We'll just have to find them before he does. Yeah, so if you take too long to find discoveries, he finds them for you. And then you don't get the money. 
So, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, but speaking of money, I think it's time we got some. Yes, I am the guy everyone's been talking about. The one they call Vice the Respected. Welcome to Sailor's Guild. Okay, I am going to sell information on these. Ah, oh, that silver moon pit was difficult to find, but I guess it was well worth it. That's a lot of money. And now that I have money, I think it's time to buy some things. Some things for my ship, as it were. Because I believe this guy now has stock. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, hey there. Uh, oh, how are you doing? I finally got in my new shipment of parts, so I'm back in business. And to celebrate, I have plenty of secondary cannons on sale. Make sure to purchase at least one before you go. Okay, I will actually. So, standard cannon, we have one, probably don't need more. Yeah, the three-inch cannon. A small caliber secondary cannon for smaller ships. So, this thing is... Uh, what were they called? Sub-cannons on the Valuan ships? It's a similar idea, so I'm gonna buy one. Yeah, and I'm gonna put it... somewhere. Sure. Now, engine cover... Oh, I have nothing equipped, so I might as well buy one. Hey, it's good to have. And an armored deck? Yeah, sure, commonly available. Why not? I mean, hey, what's money for, right? To make my ship better. And repair kit, yeah, let's just get a bunch of these there. Handy to have. Uh, that's everything, that's everything. So, I can now sell this and make a little bit of money back. And bombs are, like, not useful, so I can just get rid of it. I don't know, maybe that was a foolish move. Perhaps they're actually quite powerful. But I've never used one, and I don't intend to start. And while we're here, has the DLC guy showed up yet? I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be here. No, he is not. Okay, that is strange. Maybe I'll have to apply the DLC again. Or maybe he isn't actually in this place. Maybe he is actually somewhere else. But... I'm gonna climb all the way back up here because I'm... Oh uh, yes, I'm now 100% sure there's a cham in here. Because Cupel is yelling at me. Yeah, 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 Cupel. Where am I going? Not that way? Oh, this way? This way? It's around here? Where is it? There it is! I received a cham! Marvelous. And for all your hard work, Cupel, uh, here, you can have this. And what is... what does the Vital Seed actually do? Increases max HP. You know what? Fina, your HP is so low, you might as well have that. It'll help. Trust me. So... I think that's about all I've got to do here. I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be. So, let's just carry on a little bit. Let's, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's not start the story, but I know that there are plenty of other discoveries to be made. So, uh... Yeah, I don't need armor. Fina is fine as she is for the time being. So yeah, let's make some more discoveries, and then we will end the episode. So, return to the ship. We are going to the land of Nazar. Which is to the east, I believe. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the red moon. Okay, now that that's out of the way, uh, I did switch everybody's weapons over to silver, so we're gonna start working on that silver magic. Ah, uh, background music. The ambience, it has changed. We have arrived, sort of, at Nazar. Are they gonna let us through here? I hope so. 
All right, is the blockade gonna stop me? We are the Nazar Air Guard. It is our duty to defend the South Danel Strait. The Southern Danel Strait is a restricted area. No unauthorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. I see. Then I guess I'm going through the reefs after all, huh? Oh, hello. Well, Vice, what do you think? Wow, there's nothing here but sand. So this is a desert. I've heard sailors talk about them before, but it's my first time actually seeing one. Now that you mention it, I've heard sailors talking about them too. They said that the Nazar deserts are so hot, if you walk around in the sun too long, your hair catches on fire. Everyone carries buckets of water around with them so they can put their friend's hair out. And then, oh come on, Aika, you can't actually believe those crazy stories. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in that head of yours. Don't come crying to me when your head bursts into flames. That glass eye patch you wear will intensify the sun's rays and fry your brain. I'm just kidding, Vice. It's just a story I heard a long time ago. I didn't really believe it either. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but you can't be too careful. The moonstones that fall from the red moon give off a great deal of heat. It's too hot for most plants to survive. Because of this, the lands of Nazar have been reduced to a barren wasteland. I see. There isn't much down there besides sand and rock. The red moon crystal should be hidden somewhere in the desert, right? That's right, Vice. It's buried deep within the ancient temple of Pyrin. An ancient temple? I'll bet there's all kinds of treasure there. Maybe gold and gems and magic stuff and nice clothes and... and stuff. Aika, what are you doing? If we find a bunch of treasure, we'll be rich. We can buy whatever we want. What's the first thing you'd buy, Fina? Uh, buy? Uh, what does that mean exactly? What? Fina, you don't know what that means? I'm terribly sorry. I've never seen the rest of the world before, and uh... You don't need to look very far to find a shop. Everyone buys stuff. It's normal. Well, Fina, you really don't get out much, do you? Huh, how about that? I wonder what the Silver Civilization is like. Uh, according to the map, there's a city nearby called Maramba. Let's go there first. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Poor Drachma just gets dragged along. Now this had better not spit me out right near Maramba, no, because, guess what? This right here, this right here, ahem, please. This right here, I can't discover it yet? Yes I can, I have found the Temple of Pyrin. Well, how about that? Uh, a stone building thought to have been created by an ancient dynasty, the stonework and construction demonstrate a high level of technology for that period, but no clues are left to point to the purpose behind these huge creations. Oh, Vice, this is it! This is where the moonstone is- uh, the red moon crystal is buried! Oh, great! Let's land the ship and search the place right away! Dot dot dot. Ah, uh, wait, boy. Head to town first. I got things I need to take care of. There's a port city named Maramba. Yeah, yeah, go there first. Uh, sure, no problem. I just thought we could... Ah, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter to me. Good. Uh, that is the first of several things I can find here. Uh, oh. Pirates. And a battle. But this one might be new. We are in a new part of the world, after all. Are these new enemies? Please? Yes! Oh, and there's a new kind of looper! Huh, stone beaks, huh? Oh, there's a bunch of new stuff. Okay, you can attack the stone beak. Let's see if my special move can hit the looper. 
Uh, you can actually. You know what? It's probably best if you guard. These things will probably do damage. Okay, Alpha Storm, what is it gonna do? Zero! Yeah, I was afraid of that. Yeah, loopers have really weird resistances. I wonder what's good against this one. Oh, you attacked me! You jerk! Please stop beating up Vice. Get out of here. Oh, it lived. Huh. Well, how about that? Okay, well, regardless of what you're immune to, you are not immune to Cutlass Fury. So, um, yeah. You can attack... Oh, they are both doing rather poorly, actually. Oh, you're sticking around. You're not running away from me, huh? Okay, Vice, now's your time to shine. There we go. That'll take care of it. You see, the reason I really always want to take out loopers is one, they drop a lot of money. But two, they drop really cool items. We did it. Rarely. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, level up. Okay, that's good. Here we've got Curia and no items. That is a shame. Mm, but I believe... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna touch the pirate, but I am going to find the Wandering Lake. Yes, the truth behind the story of the disappearing lake is even stranger. Temperature differences make a large bowl of rock float above the desert sands, holding a lake of clear water. Once the desert, or once the water cools off, it settles downward again. So that is something. Uh, I think there's something around here. Maybe. Yes. Ah, the Topple Rock, of course. A natural formation of three round rocks, stacked on top of each other and perfectly balanced. The balance seems delicate, especially when the rocks sway in the wind, uh, but for some reason they have never toppled. Uh, that is Maramba, by the way. I'm not going there yet. Uh, oh, there it is. Up here there's something. Okay, we ascend. We go all the way to the very top of the sky. And up here, we will find the Sand Falls. Long ago, a young black pirate searched the desert for the isle that spouts treasure. After a long trek, he was shocked to find that it produced only sand. But he realized that the that the desert was the true treasure and spent the rest of his years in Nazar. Yes, the real treasure was the friends you made along the way. And I think there's something down here somewhere. Okay, where is this thing? It's somewhere around in here, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it's around here somewhere. Maybe? Yes, there it is, the oasis, of course. What is a desert without an oasis? As shipbuilding developed and flight distances grew, the oasis in the middle of the desert lost some of its importance to travelers, but it is still critical to caravans on land routes and remains lively as the center of trade and information. Well, how about that? So, with all of those discoveries discovered, uh, I think it's about time we actually got on with the plot. So in the next episode, we're going to land at Maramba and, yeah, get on with things. We do, after all, have a red moon crystal to find. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. And I do hope that you join me again next time for the next exciting episode of this. Till then, ta-ta.